part of the barrier hurts, hurts me. What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we started to go through Ganon's castle, and I'm actually doing the order of these uh, passages a little bit separately, because if you don't know, you can actually do... The goal here is to go through all these doors in here. Is there a map? I don't think there's a map at all, is there? No, there's not. Okay, good to know. See, there's all these bands of light going up, and whenever you go through a room, it shuts them off. What a lot of people do is they try to go in the order that um, you beat the dungeons in, but what I'm doing is doing whatever one... What are you? Skull shot, soft bellies, that's a weak point. How about a light arrow to the face? Bam! And it just drops a stupid... Oh, man, there's keys. Ow. Can I shoot you with a light arrow? Oh, yeah. I believe you hit these guys with light arrows. They drop purple rupees, which is like, holy crap, man. Just 50 poopies. This, see, oh, there we go. Oh, there, there it is. Bam! Let's we'll just waste all of our light arrows for no stupid reason at all. Ooh, there's apparently another one right there. Um, I believe... Oh, we're gonna get two purple rupees right in front of us here. Ooh, what's this gonna be? And, oh, okay. Oh, just a baby chest. Where, hello? Poopies? Yeah, look at that. Bam! I wish I had the amount of poopies to take in. Uh, to take it. Anyways, those are invisible keys. Um, the ones they're standing on are actually the safe chests, and the ones they're not standing on are actually trap chests. <laughs> Thus, the attack right there. Um, so if you want, you could just, like, you know, pay attention to which ones give you which. They're all garbage rewards anyways. But, you know me, I gotta get all the things, so I'm just gonna open all these chests. Just, to, just you know, to feel kind of a bit more complete in the game. <laughs> I got you, it's a thing. My OCD that I don't actually have compels me to do it. I must get all the things, even the bad ones. I mean, the game thinks it's trapping, like, ah, I got you. But it actually is, and it makes me happy just to know that that treasure chest has been open and, like, you know, that portion of the game has been completed. Which is kind of a stupid thought, because, I mean, why open a chest you know is going to hurt you? But I have to. I seriously just have to. <laughs> It's a thing I must do. I mean, not really. I don't necessarily have to. I could just fight the urge and ignore it, and it wouldn't really bother me past like a few minutes. This is a weird little alcove. Why is that there? It could have ceased to just have this wall out here and just. Oh, okay, whatever. Anyways. Oh, this is the light area, isn't it? I was like. I thought this was maybe the shadow area, because that would make sense since, you know, Impa's Zelda's keeper, so. It'd, it'd be like, oh, that's why the alcove is. It'd be like, you know, you're singing Zelda's lullaby, because Impa's normally the one that sings Zelda's lullaby too, right? I believe that's where that originated. I don't remember, though. One minute! I could never do this in a minute! This feels very Shadow Temple like, doesn't it? Is there Silver Rupee in this? Dude, seriously! Dude! Dude, seriously! Dude! Oh, I love the noise those boulders make. You know, I don't feel like time is going to be an issue here. Ooh, the bull is going to hit and bounce back around. Bam! Check it out. Does it go the opposite way? Yes, it does. So now everything is... Well. Holy crap. <laughs> ah, dude! I can't even see what's going on anymore. Uh, is there just a hookshot target up there? Yes, there is. Can I reach that from here? Probably. Yes, I can. Oh, no. 30 seconds left. Oh, man. Where's the last one? Oh, it's right there. Oh, I did not want to jump down yet, so I don't know where that is, even though I totally just saw it. Oh, I thought that was going to hit me. Where's the door? I don't know. Oh, the time's still going. What happens if the timer... What? What happens if the timer hits zero? Oh, well, too late. Huh? Huh? Well, guess it's time to go home. Ah! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! How dare you? I will destroy you. Oh, okay. Come on. Come back. You dare try to fight me. Probably not a good idea. <laughs> yeah, what's up? What's up, son? What's up? You drop babies? No, you're not gonna drop babies. Okay, so you go through here. This feels a lot more Shadow Temple like than the other one. It's weird. Give me things! Okay, so I, that's kind of obvious to me. Maybe just because I already knew the solution. I kind of feel like I would have just tried to walk through the wall naturally, though. What if. Be, ow! Why does that hurt me? Well, I guess it is Ganon's magic. It'd be cool if this was actually another booby trap and you actually had to go through the wall a second time. Because it's like, uh, you go through and they're like, oh, I solved the puzzle. I mean, if that wasn't solved the puzzle, that'd be kind of cool. Yay, we did it! Raru, the owl! Wouldn't it be funny if he just appeared here as an owl for some reason? Light barrier's dispelled, hurry! And then he just disappears. He was a ghost all along! 
Ah! My face! That hurts! Yay! Okay, I believe we have three left, don't we? Look at, look at, even those kind of look like spider webs, don't they? They're stone still, but they look like spider webs. Alright, so, I do believe you only have three left, right? There's the fire one, the water one, and the first one, correct? So, I guess Darunia had less, of, less, uh, not effects, but less, something in the game. Two minutes, 19 seconds, holy crap. I don't know what that would be if we had full hearts. I kind of feel like trying that out, but you know what, whatever, we're gonna keep- Oh, actually, you know up on this? It starts to sink, however. If you put on- I always put on the hover boots. Put on the hover boots, since you're- If it would start to sink, you would- It would just immediately go back up, since you know we'd be hovering and thus the weight wouldn't be on it anymore. You could kind of cheat it, yay! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, faces, don't touch me faces! Don't touch me flaming flames! Yay, waiting. Yay. Uh, okay. Ah! It's a sculpture. What? That's not a sculpture. That's a. Ah! Oh, I forgot about this block. So I guess there's three of these in this game. Huh. I thought there was only two. There was only dose. But no, there's trays. Unless there's another secret one I completely forgot about. Whoop! Sploosh! Hey, look, right beside that gray rupee. And how was that even under there? That should be shattered and destroyed. Holy poop. <laughs> also, if you jump in this ladder, or that lava, <laughs> the ladder. If you jump in that lava, you immediately die. So I suggest not doing that. Okay, you need to die. Thankfully, you're facing the wrong way, so you didn't even see me. Don't you try to slug your way out of here. Silly. Oh, okay. All right. So everyone always seems to die in this room for some reason. Like, they'll get this rupee and then they'll die. I'm going to try doing the opposite. I did not do the opposite. <laughs> it's just like tradition, honestly, at this point by everybody. I was really trying not to die, but I totally died. Good thing is, when you get all the silver loops, you could actually just come over here and still continue through. Uh, uh, oh boy. Uh. Oh boy. So I don't know how many of you have seen the recent um, Game 3 episode where they talk about the hookshot and the force of it and how powerful it is. Powerful, but it, it's pretty powerful, and like it's so powerful that like Link's entire body would rip itself apart if he actually tried to use the hook. Sh if someone tried to use the hook shot in real life, that's kind of a cool concept. It's like a grappling hook, you know, but not. Oh my God, he's naked! Oh my God, it's a naked big fat guy. It's a naked fat guy. The fire bear. Wait, what was his voice? The fire bear is dispelled. Hurry up, Link! It was all girly, right? There's so many voices, let's say it's hard to remember who's who. Special kind of thrown for a loop like that. Look at that foot. It looks like a foot. Yep, the symbol for fire temple, or the Dongo's Cavern, or whatever. The fire medallion? Wait, what is this called? Because, I mean, there's the Dongo's Cavern and then there's the fire temple. Oh, I guess we don't know, so that, that is the fire medallion. We don't get medallions at the beginning of the game. Okay, you know what? We gotta take it off, 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 take it off, off, off. I'm on fire! <laughs> Alright. It's pretty lame that Ganon uses um, the forces from the all the, the guys, you know, uh, the sages to make his barrier. And that totally looks like you have to go through that room over there to get to that, but no. Thankfully, it's down here. It's right over here. Let's go through the door now. What the heck? This is not... What? This is totes my goats. Not freaking... Uh, ice, or, this is not water temple, this is ice temple. Like, is he dead? He's dead. Oh, wow, where'd you come from, asshole? I think it's pretty cool how those guys can pretty much teleport real nice. It makes complete sense and is kind of a cool random power they have. I like it. I like it a lot. Ow! Ass butts. You silly little guys. Alright. This is just. That scuttling sound you hear when you. with the ice shaking above you. Totally sounds exactly like um, a skull chill, doesn't it? It's so weird that they. I, I kind of see what they look like when they shake. Oh. Uh, I can't really see it. Anyways, this is just the waster bottle and blue fire room, apparently. So, let's, I mean, we don't even need to waste it all since we already did waste it on the freaking green potion. That didn't really waste because we actually needed it. 
That's such a crazy coincidence that like the one time I accidentally get a green potion um, is is gonna is the exact time where it actually pays off in the end. Holy crap! That slowdown. That's weird. I wonder why that happened. Whoa. Oh man, ice block puzzle. Uh, this I do not rem remember at all. Uh, oh, I need more blue fire apparently. So, all right, which way do you want to go here? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and guess there's a switch up there. It's in here. A furry. A furry. I love furries. <laughs> uh, furries. Silly little guys. Okay. We highly unfortunate if like, we couldn't go through that door again for some Oh yeah, it wasn't a lock, there was just red frozen block of ice there or whatever. Ice with a red tinge for some reason to bend our Alright, so. Uh oh wait, that just leads to a hole, doesn't it? Bye! Uh, okay, bye. <laughs> um Well, I mean there's an ice block there, so I'm gonna go ahead and assume we push into that. Um. Wow, I'm actually kind of surprised that this is stumping me. Pretty dang sure these puzzles are supposed to be pretty dang easy, dang dang. Oh, and now I can't do anything with this block. I can't do anything with either of these blocks now. Oh, goodbye, cruel world. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, cruel. Ah, oh, fine. I was trying to fall, but it wasn't letting me, and it was terrible times. Apparently, that is not the solution. Link! Linkus Park? I swear. I swear, my friend, I swear. Alright, um. Can't push out that way. So, I mean, there's only. I could only push out that way. Uh. Did we just push this? No, we can't, because that just goes along the ledge. Why is this actually surprisingly complicated? That's different for the block puzzle in this game. No, we, I can confirm we cannot push that. Um, I can't put. The only way I could push this block is this way. We won't get stuck on something. But then what? Nothing. Then it just becomes death and doom and destruction. Alright, let's die. Uh, because we're in the water temple portion, which is not even water temple related for some reason, we're gonna go and turn on my tunic. You know what, I feel like even though this is like Naruto's domain, this does not feel like it is Naruto's domain. Wait, can we just push this this way? Uh, no we can't. What the heck? Is, uh, am I missing something? Is there another block we can spawn or something? There's gotta be, right? There's no solution to this puzzle. Is it like a hook shot track? No. Can I play the song of time or something? That is not the song of time. Okay, I try my hardest. <laughs> I do not remember the song of time. And right A down. Oh, that was close. Right A down, right A down. Then I just mixed up the right and the down parts, like I reversed where they were supposed to go. Anything? Nope. I do not remember the solution to this puzzle, which is crazy because, I mean, it's a freaking... It should be an easy puzzle. I feel like it's normally an easy puzzle. It's really the only song I think to play, right? <laughs> Apparently we can jump up there, okay. And we can't push these blocks. Lens of Truth, maybe? That doesn't make- I don't remember any of this. Why is it so stupidly complicated for me? We don't even have that many options, that's the difficult part. You know what? What? Oh, I thought just- I thought that was a bottomless pit! Well crap, I didn't know that! Maybe that's meant to look like that. Okay, well that opens up a lot of possibilities. So I guess... Uh, I think it's gonna be this one, right? For two reasons. One, because this is the more annoying block to get to that hole, since you have to make two moves when you only have to make one with this block here. And two, because you could push this there and then push it against the other rock, right? Yeah, I think that's right. Wow, that was 
stupidly pointlessly difficult for me for some reason. Oh, that was weird. The time disappeared there. Give me the fairy. Yeah. Whoa. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> it's funny how the time disappears whenever you push the lock. I guess that's not a way to indicate that the time has paused when they could just, you know, pause it. Oh no, a minute and a half. I guess they did it like two minutes or whatever just to justify for all the amount of time someone would spend screwing around in this room. Like I did, pretty much. There's a rusty switch. It totes my goats is. Can you hit normal switches with the Megaton Hammer? I don't even know, actually. Probably, right? I don't see why not. I mean, it's the exact same thing. Yay! Maybe not the blue switches are. Maybe you hit the blue switch with the Megaton Hammer and then it just immediately comes off as, as if you walked on it and walked off. Yay, we did it! With much difficulty! Alright, 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 all right. oh, wait a second. Well, too late. I was gonna say, let's get magic and whatever's in this room, but... Oh, well... Yeah! The arrow just kind of floats through. Oh my god! <laughs> Look where the arrow is! The water temple is dispelled! Hurry up! Thanks, Naruto. Are we gonna see where it is? No, it disappeared. Dang it. It was seriously right out of your crotch. It was the most amazing thing ever. It was the most perfect shot. You know what? Let's let's go get the last one. Let's make this an epic episode by getting the last one. That is Saria. I mean, sorry I didn't have that big of an influence in this game, but she was my best friend as a child and probably still is, to be honest. Even though I don't even see her and she's off saving the world and crap, but you know, Wolfos, Wolfos, come on, come on, buddy, buddy. I'm let me let me there we go. Bam, shakalaka. I did it, yay. I'm so happy, yay. Let's get this chest. Yeah, is it a trap chest? No, it's not. Oh, look at that. They placed that blue rupee there just so we could see the freaking torch on top of the tower there. Oops, no, I don't want that one. They don't want that one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I did it, yay. You know what I gotta use still? I gotta use ice arrows and try to like defeat an enemy with that at least. <laughs> what if he killed Ganondorf with that? That'd be awesome. Dude, seriously, come on. Get jiggy with it. Come on now. Come on now, mate. I'm pretty- wait, did I just- oh, I thought I saw another torch over here, but it was designed in the wall. I'm pretty sure- um, that there was initially supposed to be a wind temple in this game as long- uh, along with the wind temple. I mean, along with the ice temple, but there was neither of those, which is weird, okay. There's a Navi thing there, which I'm gonna go ahead and assume that means- holy crap, that's a scary noise. Wait, I want you. Yay! I did not get it in time. Did I just miss? Hello? Okay then, great, I just- great, my life sucks. Oh, however, there's a hookshot target over there. However, I guess they just didn't put the Ice Temple or the Shadow Temple in the game just because they ran out of time or resources or something or the game is too big or, or something, something. They need to be something, something. Alright, let's go for it! Dude, what?! That showed me it's such an awkward angle! Alright, try this again. Am I doing that wrong? That does not seem to be the right way to do that at all. Weird. Yeah, throw it! What? Wasn't even close! Yeah. Uh, thank you. Thank you! Thank you very much! Kermit the Frog here! I don't know why Kermit's voice came into my head, but it did. Yeah. Uh, the switch right here. Alright, that is not a rusted switch, but let's take the time to discover if the Megaton Hammer will- No, not a- some bogs for some reason. Bam! Bam! I'm trying to move. Bam! Really? That's interesting and kind of dumb, Russ. Oh! 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 That's totally a trap. Uh, but we're gonna try anyways! YOLO! Go down! There we go. Phew. <laughs> that was really scary. Yeah, for Frodo. Ba -ba. <gasps> Are you serious? Well, that sucked. Ah, ah. Well, that double sucked. Well, crap, man. I'm a crap man. 
Yeah, yeah, I see the song of time. Can I jump up there? I don't think I can, can I? Well, crap. So I guess we got to hook shot two feet up to the air. Dude, seriously? Come on. Come on now. Okay, so you still want to do that from here? Do I have to go to another ledge or something stupid? There we go. Come on, get down. Yeah! And we should probably pull our bombs out again, to be honest. Yep. <laughs> These guys totally thought I was going to not notice I was hovering and then fall, didn't you? Well, I'm too smart for that. It's not true, I'm not. <laughs> it's not true at all. Okay, let's go get the last poopy. I kind of feel like there's like a secret room behind you or something. Doesn't this look like the perfect place to put a secret room? That would have sucked if that explosion pushed me back and sent me down the cliff. On top of that, I would have died, and on top of that, I would have totally seen that there is no secret room there, and I just wasted everybody's time. Oh god, I'm scared. Where am I standing? Oh, that was scary. Alright. Let's go through here, and with over 20 minutes, let's break the last barrier. Alright. So with the green barrier, let's see what Saria has to say. She's totally gonna say the exact same thing as all the other freaking people did. I feel that was just meant to be a placeholder text, and they're gonna say unique things. Like, they should, right? It's the last time you kind of, they kind of see you and help you. The forest barrier is dispelled! Hurry up, Link! It's like, thanks, you're not even like, I'm happy to see you or whatever, just hurry up, Link. You haven't seen me in over seven years, you crazy bitch! Oh, no, actually, I guess we met her. I guess we met her after we beat the forest temple. So I guess we have seen her recently. But who knows how much time has passed since then. Oh, boy. With that, all the barriers have been dispelled. Let me see a crazy zoop 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 And that probably should have engulfed us and killed us. But it did not. Oh, and right beside it. So, with that done, there's only one thing to do. Go into the dragon's mouth and fight Ganondorf. What lies beyond the dragon's mouth? I don't actually really remember. Is it just straight to Ganon, or are we going to do all the things first? I guess you guys will have to see in the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Let's Play Ocarina of Time. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like, subscribe already. That dragon's top of its head totally looks like a sun. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching. Goodbye!